All right, folks, we have a very clean, very low mileage 2021 Jeep Gladiator high altitude. And this is a gorgeous truck with 7,200 miles on it. Um, no modifications outside of that front window tint to match the rear. It's a very clean truck. What does the high altitude version get you? Uh, gets you these LED headlights, gets you LED taillights as well uh, with the halo surround. Also gets you body color, body match panels. So front and rear bumper, uh, fenders, uh, as well as the roof and the roof panels there. All the same color as the body, which is granite crystal metallic. It's a really nice looking color. As you know, not many of these on the lots these days as well as specifically this color. So it's a very, very good looking color in my opinion. That's a clean combination. Uh, this particular model has a spray in uh, bed liner, which is very nice, very clean. Uh, it also gets you uh, this black uh, badging here on the tailgate. Um, this one also has uh, the heavy duty front and rear axles, 44s. Um, and then it also has the trailer tow package with the class four uh, receiver. Uh, and you also get the trailer hitch zoom. So again, really clean truck. It's got four programmable auxiliary switches, uh, but we'll head inside and show you some of the options there. All right, so let's start her up. It's got a push button start as well as the remote start. Uh, that is part of the cold weather group or the cold weather package, uh, which includes, uh, we've got uh, the heated steering wheel here. Uh, we've also, we also have uh, heated front seats. Uh, and then the cold weather group also gets you the remote start. So uh, right now you're looking at uh, 72, 22 miles. That will uh, go up just a little bit um, before I post this listing. Uh, it also come with a full tank of gas, um, but uh, I've got uh, about 17.9 average over the life cycle of those 7,200 miles. So that's uh, what you can kind of expect. I haven't done anything too crazy with it. Uh, you also get upgraded to the eight inch screen uh, infotainment. This has CarPlay and Android Auto both uh, in uh, uh, the, the vehicle. Uh, also has the leather wrapped uh, shifter, the leather wrapped uh, four by selector there as well. Um, and the cold weather package definitely comes in handy uh, in the winter time uh, when you remote start it uh, go out in the cold. Uh, it also has your auxiliary switches, which are down here. You've got four of them. Uh, I don't know this thing's gonna kind of screw up on me, but you've got four of them down here. And uh, yeah, generally speaking, you get the, uh, these orange accents in the seats as well. Again, very clean truck. This has not been detailed inside yet, so don't uh, give it too much judgment in the, over the video. But uh, yeah, clean truck. One thing to point out, we don't have the headliner that it was a $555 option. Uh, we opted out, but you can get that uh, through your dealer. You can get that through an after party as well. Um, it does have uh, this flip down cup over here, uh, which was, I believe, an option in one of the groups at a uh, probably uh, that customer for preferred package 24N. So let's talk about uh, what this has on the base. So uh, from the base, the optional equipment, that's uh, the customer preferred package 24N. That's what uh, the 9105 got me, uh, which was most of the stuff on outside. It also has the blind spot uh, protection uh, on both mirrors here, uh, which is actually very handy to have in this truck. Um, also, what this got us was um, the caramel interior accents, the rear armrest with a cup holder, um, and then it's got a couple more cup holders on the floor along with some uh, USBs back there as well. Uh, and like I said, the auxiliary switch and the eight-speed automatic. So high altitude, four by four, really popular truck. Let's go take it for a drive. So overall, this truck has a lot to be desired. Um, it's very nice. The 20 inch wheels handle nicely. I personally, uh, they're some of my uh, favorite wheels. And uh, she's got plenty of power, plenty of uh, get up and go.
So we're just on some residential streets here, uh, cruising along nicely. Again, it, uh, this truck does roll along nicely over the bumps. In my opinion, I believe the high altitude, it rolls a little bit better uh, with uh, you know, things like bumps and things like that uh, versus the Rubicon. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, but this is a really nice, really clean, really smooth truck. No engine issues, engine problems. In fact, uh, it's got about 18% oil life left. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go get that changed before somebody buys it, but I will. Uh, so it'll come with a full tank of gas, it'll come with a, a fresh oil change in it, uh, ready for uh, its new owner. So uh, overall, like I said, really good truck. Um, if you want more videos, more pictures, anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to facilitate this sale and uh, happy bidding.